So, good morning again, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Simone Giometti. I am the Secretary General of the Romualdo del Bianco Foundation Life Beyond Tourism in Florence. And uh, I am uh, particularly uh, delighted in uh, host welcoming uh, uh, the, uh, this first uh, meeting with the Western Caspian University in, uh, in, in Baku. And uh, as I told before to Mr. Vusal, whenever we uh, meet uh, uh, a new partner from Baku and from Azerbaijan, our foundation is particularly glad. Uh, personally, I've been in, in Baku uh, eight times and uh, uh, I always cherish an happy memory of the hospitality. Of, uh, of your people and of course the historic and cultural traditions. So uh, being the foundation activity committed in promoting uh, the knowledge of the cultural diversity and the, the promotion of the intercultural dialogue, especially working side by side the young generation, I am particularly uh, glad on behalf of all the board of our foundation to welcome Western Caspian uh, University in uh, uh, being partner of our uh, Life Beyond Tourism movement. So in, uh, in particular, I am very glad that uh, your university accepted to be one of the participants in uh, this first edition of the uh, uh, project Back to Life, Revitalization of Places Post-COVID-19, and uh, to take part in uh, this exhibition or exchange of exhibition, Florence in the World, the World in Florence. Uh, let me remind, as I will do in my uh, uh, presentation, that uh, there are several steps for strengthening our collaboration. And uh, uh, so, uh, again, let me express on behalf of our president, Mr. Paolo Del Bianco, and our Vice President uh, Carlotta Del Bianco, that unfortunately was not here for unexpected uh, reason, our warmest welcome. Uh, before starting my presentation, that would like to give a general overview of uh, the activity of the foundation and then to focus on uh, what is going on and what is expected for our collaboration. I would like to give the floor to the representative of the Western Caspian University for uh, some greeting message. And I ask to Madame Sevi Ms. Sevinch to drive me uh, for the reason why we worked side by side over the past month in uh, realizing this meeting, I ask her to introduce uh, to the people attending this meeting the uh, personalities of the Western Caspian University that would like to say a message, a greeting message. So, Madam, Miss uh, Sevinch, the floor is, uh, is yours. Maybe there was a technical issues with the yeah. computer, I don't know. Uh, you know me. Or uh, may, maybe... Just, I'm so sorry, just to see. Mr. Vusa, would you, do you like to, uh, to, to, to send some, to say some, uh, some words? Okay, of course. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. And, and I'd like to greet you all, and you and our staff. Thank you very much for joining our uh, meeting webinar. It's the first time that the first webinar or info day, 
And uh, we are very glad that uh, this organization accepted our request and accepted us as a member. And uh, we are looking forward to cooperating with you in the future and uh, mostly on tourism back to life, which we all need after, no, it's not over, but somehow uh, after the COVID-19, let's say. And uh, we think that uh, we will jointly cooperate uh, successful cooperation we will have it and hope that uh, all of our staff will enjoy from today today's meetings thank you very much and good luck mr simon please the floor is yours okay are uh, are there any any uh, other person that Persons, would like to yeah, I would like to give the floor to Hamid Mellin. Please, Hamid Mellin, he's a specialist on tourism. And I uh, would like to, please, Hamid Mellin. Thank you. Please, uh, could you open, switch your microphone? It seems that it's open, but we, we can't hear your voice, Hamid Mellin. Okay, connecting you right here. Okay, connection connected. Can you speak? Ahmed Malum. No, we can't hear you. Yeah, we don't hear you. No, there is a technical. No, no voice. No voice. But anyway, I uh, hope that this uh, issue will be solved as soon as possible. Maybe you have a, a earphones, maybe. Yes. Uh, maybe, okay. 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 Let's okay. It, Madeline, we can't see you. Now your camera is turn it off. Maybe uh, he's yeah, trying may, to log maybe, again. Maybe. Ah, he will yeah. Log in again. I don't know. Let's wait for. We are very sorry. No problem. No problem. You know, uh, over the last month we have been obliged to rely upon technical tools, but uh, nothing is compared with the. Uh, possibility of uh, shaking hands yes of course that's uh, right. and uh, we are used we are trying to use to, to adapt the, using the technology but still seems that we don't know we can't uh, use it well but comparing with the first period let's say last year's period now it's we have a good more, more skills than one year <laughs> ago but still problems yes so I see again, Mr. Hamid Alizade. Can you Hamid try? Madeline. Can you speak? We can't. No, we can't. Yeah, 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 Maybe yeah. let's give the floor to Afa Hanum. Afa Hanum, please. Your greetings. Actually, um, perhaps we need to say a warmest welcome to Professor, because in this hot day, <laughs> I don't know how the weather is in Italy, but in the Baku city is still uh, hot enough, so very warm weather. So to uh, say welcome, we're uh, really very happy to uh, share with you um, our experience, because we have some um, some achievements in this area. They are very modest, but anyway, uh, we'll be happy to share with you and uh, extremely happy to hear your um, opinion about the current situation in this uh, sphere of economics, because um, as a result of the um, global problem, I mean, uh, caused by COVID-19, so we're not exclusion. Azerbaijan also is not exclusion. And unfortunately, the tourism industry of Azerbaijan significantly suffered from this um, hard situation or the world. And that's why uh, for us will be very interesting. What do you think? Uh, do you see any ways to leave this situation? What do you expect? How long these um, negative uh, consequences of uh, COVID-19 
will uh, significantly stress the national economies. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So let me uh, first uh, point out that um, our foundation um, is committed uh, since uh, uh, the, the late 90 of the past century in uh, try to uh, spur a young generation for a diverse approach to the to the travel and the, to the knowledge of the of uh, the heritage so um, uh, and this mission has uh, uh, as represented our uh, main lights that have inspired all the activities uh, carried out so far. So it doesn't matter if international conference, exhibitions, and uh, uh, and uh, and the workshop of students and so on. And we are sure and we're very deeply convinced that. Uh, now, more than in the past time, it is important uh, to reaffirm those principles. Now that uh, the situation is still uh, uh, in progress and uh, honestly, is not yet clear when it will be possible to uh, bring the situation back as it was. Honestly, I think that, especially from the tourist point of view, that we, we, we must wait for uh, other two or three years before that. But in the meantime, we have to uh, continue our activity of training and educational young generation to a diverse kind of uh, visiting, a diverse kind of uh, approaching the travel. Uh, and the discover of the of the cultural diversity because uh, 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 COVID could be a night amongst all the the, the, the bad uh, uh, consequences that it produce could be uh, the starting point for replanning the way to organize. Uh, and to approach a destination site and especially to change and to leave uh, hopefully forever the approach of the mass tourism and the approach of the hit to and the hit and run uh, tourism that uh, not only here in Florence yeah. but also in Baku I got the chance is uh, uh, consuming the destination site and the uh, does not allow uh, travelers and locals to grasp the real uh, benefits of uh, of the uh, of the um, of visiting a place. That's why uh, Back to Life would like to uh, spur in young generation the importance to change the point of view of approaching the travel experience is uh, not only an economic aspect. Uh, economic is important, but uh, we have uh, uh, to start to mind that whenever we travel abroad, we will have a sort of a civic and social responsibility in uh, uh, being a citizen of the world and in uh, promoting uh, the diffusion of the uh, principle and the spirit of uh, uh, mutual respect in people, in young, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in people, and in promoting uh, solidarity and inclusiveness between uh, locals and the visitors community. So this is, uh, that's why we, we ask, we, we name our activity life beyond tourism. We, will, we have to go beyond the mere aspect of the so-called mass tourism. We have to start to uh, put our energies, efforts and mind in pre promoting best practices that allowed uh, a better communication 
intercultural communication between local communities and uh, visitors' communities. Let's uh, avoid, uh, again, the hit and run approach of tourism that uh, is, uh, is not affordable anymore in many, many destination sites. And uh, at the same time, to think a better sustainable, inclusive, and, sol and solidar way to uh, visit a place. So um, this is our uh, approach. Uh, and uh, uh, that I have uh, tried to synthesize in few, in few, in, in few words. And uh, I don't know if there are some other uh, personalities from uh, Western Caspian University that would like to yes. say a word. I hope, I'm so sorry, uh, Simon. Uh, uh, Mr. Hamid already fixed it, but he's joined it with, a, uh, with the name of with another account, the Rustam Malim's account. So if you don't object, can we give the floor to Hamid Malim to express his of course, of ideas course. about the tourism? Thank you very much, Professor, and really nice to meet you here. Uh, actually, we are really uh, happy to have a bilateral uh, research cooperation with uh, Italian universities, and especially in tourism sector. And we would like to know about your experience during this time. Uh, for example, we would like to know about Green Pass experience recently in the Europe uh, based on the free movement and also how you're going to make a safe environment for tourism industry nowadays in Italy. Again, uh, could you, could you uh, repeat your question, please? I, I, I... Uh, the first question here is about Green Pass, uh, that you, uh, we are covering the people with the vaccines and we can give them, for example, as you know, uh, based on the decision of the European Commission, uh, those people that they get the two doses of vaccines, they can get free movement between the European members. And it helps to the tourism industry by uh, restoring the business in different sector of the tourism industry. I would like to know about the Italian experience in this sector by having the green pass for the people, how, uh, how many people covering the vaccine at the moment in Italy and uh, what, you, what is your view about the um, making safe environment for tourism industry nowadays? So, um, new, news about uh, um, the, the so-called Green Pass uh, that uh, has been uh, uh, taken the, the, the floor in, in, in current days. Um, of course, the Italian policy is, uh, is, must be conceived in the frame of, of the EU policy. And uh, um, we, uh, the next 6th of August, um, all uh, um, the um, uh, tourists, and, uh, but not only tourists, but uh, also uh, people that would like to restaurants and they would like to, to uh, share the same habits as before okay. must have must show this green card this online certificate that uh, allow uh, 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 the users to 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 visit uh, uh, places to move uh, uh, within the EU and uh, to have uh, to go to restaurant and and uh, and, and so on well uh, in spite of that, so starting from the 6th August, uh, uh, we will uh, unif uniform to the other uh, uh, European countries' uh, uh, regulation in, in, in that case. And uh, it is an avoidable measure for, uh, for uh, preventing any other outbreak of, uh, of COVID. And, um, and as, as I told to, to the previous uh, uh, colleague before, for that reason, I think that uh, we can't expect to recover the previous position in the very short term, because uh, uh, as uh, uh, 
also today in the newspaper, they were uh, uh, talking about the, the fourth wave of COVID in Germany. So there is uh, 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 much time yet for, uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, recovering the, 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 the previous positions uh, uh, before uh, the, the outbreak of, uh, of the pandemic. Uh, so this is, uh, um, and this is creating, of course, also political and uh, and also a social debate, uh, because uh, as usual, uh, people uh, are divided between those who are favorable to the green pass and those uh, the ones who are uh, uh, not uh, yet uh, uh, accepting uh, that measure. But uh, uh, that's. Uh, uh, that, that, that's the current situation here uh, in Italy. As example, and, and this, of course, regards with the EU inflow, nothing to say with the American and uh, also UK visitors that are still obliged to have the quarantine before uh, traveling in in Italy. So the situation again is still uh, under process. We uh, here in Italy and in Europe, we are trying to uh, create uh, uh, the uh, few basic rules for uh, uh, driving and uh, uh, organizing the uh, travel activity uh, for the coming uh, uh, five years because again, uh, pandemic is not something that will disappear in the short term. So um, this is our, 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 but this is uh, an approach from a normal uh, citizen uh, based on what is, uh, is uh, uh, available on the, on the Italian and European newspaper. Uh, uh, Professor, as I know, you have some previous travel to Azerbaijan uh, eight times you have been here, and it's very interesting for me. Uh, I would like to know what is your suggestion for bilateral tourism cooperation between Azerbaijan and Italy in the future? Well, uh, uh, honestly, um, I the partnership with, uh, uh, with Azerbaijan is... Uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, strong between Azerbaijan and Italy. It is a matter of fact that in Rome, this is the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, Italy we have and uh, uh, Azerbaijan last- It's in uh, Milan and in Baku also. Yes, yes. And uh, we organized uh, last year a meeting between uh, the director of the Azerbaijan uh, uh, Chamber, Italy-Azerbaijan Chamber in Rome and some businessmen in, in, in Florence. And, uh, um, of course, uh, it came up uh, uh, how much uh, as close the collaboration uh, between our country is. Uh, from one side, uh, it's, uh, it's important from the point of view of, uh, of uh, uh, energy. Uh, and uh, from, uh, from uh, the other side, uh, from Italy, uh, there is a, a, a strong involvement of companies in the, in the, in the, in the sphere of uh, uh, industrial utilities uh, and agriculture as well. Yeah, so, uh, the agriculture part is very interesting for us, especially as a agrar tourism or agriculture. Yes, tourism. yes and there are uh, some important uh, agro uh, forum in, in, in Baku that uh, are arising the attention of Italian uh, uh, companies. Uh, uh, but this was, of course, before COVID. And now I, 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 I <laughs> also in that, in that area, uh, we have a still. We are really interested for bilateral research with your university in this area, especially in uh, agricultural tourism. As yes. you know, we have lots of beautiful nature in Azerbaijan, lots of good infrastructure. And I think this can be interest for Italian citizens or maybe vice versa from Azerbaijanian to visit the beautiful 
Italia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yes, yes, but uh, and uh, 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 nothing to say the the collaboration in the field of uh, also um, construction and uh, and uh, company engineer civil civic engineering uh, consulting companies. Uh, we all know how much Baku uh, has um, been in the center of uh, an urban and construction development over the last uh, uh, few years. And, uh, and uh, of course, this is another uh, way of uh, uh, strengthening the partnership between our countries. Thank but you. again, um, uh, you, you're welcome. Um, I, uh, in order also to uh, point out uh, uh, the main topic of, of, of this meeting, I would uh, uh, like to come back to the uh, initiative and to present the initiatives that we are uh, offering to the Western Caspian University and, and, uh, and their student, students for uh, collaborating. Um, again, uh, our foundation is committed in the field of, uh, of uh, culture and in the field of, of travel. Uh, both of them are seen as a way for promoting intercultural dialogue and to create uh, 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 and to enhance some aspects of the travel that uh, are not yet well uh, um, known from, from, from our point of view. So, uh, if you agree, uh, dear uh, colleague, I would like to uh, introduce you generally uh, on the activity of, the, of our foundation and its program, Life Beyond Tours, and specifically um the, the the festival in November 2021 um, that uh, would like to gather uh, the works of uh, students from all over the world and your university uh, to uh, inspired by the uh, purpose of promoting the attractiveness and the inclusiveness uh, of uh, their uh, cultural heritage sites uh, within the framework of, uh, of our program Life Beyond Tourism. So uh, this was the main purpose of uh, the meeting uh, that uh, I, I, I uh, the presentation that I prepared. So uh, if you would uh, would like I can go on with my uh, specific presentation on these initiatives, and then maybe we can uh, open a, a talk, a question, and, and, and discussion uh, a, a, about it. Um, so, again, let me uh, uh, repeat uh, uh, that I am the main purpose of this meeting is to. Uh, inform you about uh, our initiative uh, Back to Life, Revitalization of Places Post-Covid-19 and uh, the festival of the uh, World Cultural Expressions that we would like to organize in Florence with the participation also of a group of students from, uh, from your university. So, and uh, uh, let me, um, allow me to share uh, uh, the screen uh, with, uh, with you, and so I can go on with my uh, presentation. So, uh, let me... Uh, share, uh, okay. Do you see? 
my presentation. Just a moment. Do you see my presentation? No, I don't see. No, not yet. You have first uh, shared your screen, but now stop sharing. Okay, let me try to share again, please. And now? Now it's it's on the way. Yes, okay. it's okay now. It's excellent, okay now. excellent. Yes. Thank you very much. So this uh, in, this meeting is uh, 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 an informative meeting uh, for uh, bringing uh, uh, Western Caspian University in Baku uh, colleagues uh, informed about uh, our life beyond tourism uh, approach and the uh, initiatives that we are going to organize in November. We hope also with the participation of a group of students selected by your uh, university. So uh, let me go on. Uh, uh, OK. So um, first, uh, let me uh, 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 explain what is life beyond tourist travel to dialogue. That is a movement that uh, was born uh, in the framework of the uh, hotel uh, uh, accommodation activity. Uh, our uh, founder is a, uh, was an hotel uh, group in Florence. And the, the, um, the life beyond tourist movement was uh, uh, born to promoting knowledge between countries of different culture and contributing to the diffusion and affirmation of the universal values such as respect and harmony among people. And uh, uh, above all, to struggle the degrade of the travel experience by transforming the tourism experience from a simple occasion of leisure into a precious moment of encounter between subjects of different culture. So in other words, uh, after more, almost 30 years of activity of our foundation is, is in Florence, we are um, allowed, created a, a, a model of travel that focus on the importance of the local traditions and uh, that exceed the tourism as a mere uh, supply of services and, uh, and, uh, and consumptions. On the other side, would like to uh, promote a responsible and the tourist a sustainable way of visiting a place as opposed as the mass tourists that are annihilating interpersonal relationship and feeling the destination site and the and in general the place the, the the planet where we are so building peace in the world with dialogue stand to heritage and travel is our uh, vision and uh, uh, our mission is to promote the knowledge of the cultural diversities of the various destination sites with their know-how and uh, especially to involve young generation in that process. This is an overview, geographical overview of the institutions that we, uh, with whom we are partners so far. And uh, a life beyond tourism uh, uh, is uh, contributing to create a synergy between the UNESCO Convention 1972, 2003, and uh, 2005. I mean, I mean the convention that's of the World Heritage Convention, the, the Convention of uh, Cultural Diversity and the Protection of Intangible Heritage. And, uh, Wants to uh, uh, affirm an own theoretical and a scientific uh, approach together with a system of best practices and practical application uh, to promote the human and economic progress. 
In other words, we, Life Beyond Tourism, would like to uh, promote a new ethic, cultural and commercial vision of heritage sites in consideration of their capacity of attracting people and uh, uh, from all over the, the world, from different countries and culture. So uh, offering the opportunity to build an interpersonal relationship. This is also the opportunity to preserve and enhance local tradition and contemporary art and culture of the place. And uh, nothing less, uh, the importance of uh, ins uh, inspiring the minds and emotion and behavior of young generation and travelers toward the openness of the knowledge and intercultural dialogue. So mm, there are many representation of some uh, uh, effects of the uh, mass stories that we would like to avoid or we would like to, to uh, reduce in, in, in future. So uh, this is one of them. But also this is another, uh, this was a picture that was uh, shot a uh, few day, few time before the, the, the outbreak of pandemic. This is the main, uh, the Uffizi Square. You know, Uffizi is the first uh, Italian uh, museum. And uh, you can imagine uh, the, 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 how many people was, were waiting for entering the, that museums that's and it was not possible for all of them to, to visit in that day so uh, uh, this is just an example of how a not effective management of uh, of a tourism how many um, disaster can can create in terms of uh, uh, also uh, uh, human aspects, not only in, a, a, in cultural aspects. In spite of them, you can see here so many people that uh, are from many parts of the world, but in that moment, in that specific circumstances, they are not put in the position to uh, have a, 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 an interpersonal approach that, from our point of view, could enrich the tourism experience. And this is completely neglected in the current form of, uh, of, of tourism. So that's why we, 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 we perceive the need to relaunch a new form of visiting places. Uh, because uh, uh, this is an opportunity to favor, first of all, awareness, a sense of belongs. Uh, of ownership of the places for locals first. But it is also a way to share knowledge and inclusiveness to feed the culture of encounter. But it is also an opportunity. We have to work, especially in that specific period, to uh, uh, a better quality of relationship between presence, heritage, citizens, travelers and residents and solidarity uh, within the territory in terms of an adequate number of visitors and uh, extension of the stay. It is an opportunity also to struggle against the ether to prevalent consumistic oriented viewpoint of heritage site and privilege a people center approach. And it is also an opportunity now to privilege the quality of travel experience and the benefit for destination community over the quantity of tourism. In other words, life beyond tourism is not tourism. It is primarily a commitment in increasing the regional awareness and interest of especially young people in local cultural identity and their capacity in contributing to the attractiveness and fruition of the sites they live and work and to the cohesive territorial development based on mutual respect and intercultural dialogue between local communities and visitors' communities. Dialogue among culture 
and enhancement of the place's identity and local heritage with their local cultural expressions are two main areas of action for Life Beyond Tourism. Which are the tools that we activated so far? First of all, is our portal the life of the Life Beyond Tourism movement. Second is the, uh, the creation of uh, uh, a, a network of universities and uh, cultural institutions that we uh, called Life Beyond Tourism Info Point. And uh, it is an international network designed to offer to universities and other organizations the opportunity to be an active part of a program of continuous scientific and educational progress and the international exchange on global and urgent themes linked to the enhancement of law regional identity. It is also aimed to give a, a concrete and participatory tools to young people for a holistic vision of global society, starting from the protection of identity of place. And of course, it's also a way to favor internationalization, mobility, training and job opportunities for young people. This is uh, so far uh, the in universities and uh, organization that joined uh, starting from uh, 2021 uh, this Life Beyond Tourism uh, Info Point Network. And we are glad that also Western Caspian University are amongst them. Some uh, example of a previous meeting that we created in Iva with Ivanovo University or in Riga, in Daham, in UK, UK, Vilnius, Tambov, in Togliatti, in Baku with the University of uh, Architecture and, and Construction, in uh, Watch, Bologna, uh, Bishkek, Bratislava, Ulyanovsk, uh, Kyoto. And here are some uh, other who are uh, pa potential partners that hopefully will join soon our uh, Life Beyond Tourism uh, Info Point Network. Let's uh, go start to the our project Back to Life and uh, the uh, initiatives that we have uh, activated for putting into practice this, uh, this project. Let me first uh, remind, uh, and uh, this project would like again, first of all, to start from the importance of the knowledge and awareness of the local cultural expressions of destination site. And I mentioned here the uh, definition of uh, by UNESCO of what is a cultural expression. I mean, those expressions that result from the creativity of individuals, group and societies, and have a cultural uh, content. So this is our focus, and this is the focus uh, um, we would like to share with the uh, partners who will join our Life Beyond Tourism initiatives, future initiatives. <clears throat> In other words, enhancing uh, local cultural expression means uh, to present the region as a whole and valorize the tangible and intangible heritage in its evolution and helps to share identities as a sense of place in the citizens first, engender a sense of belongs and ownership, engagement of local community, and contribute to foster income generating capacity of local cultural expressions. There are some examples of uh, cultural expression like artisan, local products, common saying, typical foods, but nothing to say. Also uh, architecture, uh, uh, traditional landscape, uh, social and religious uh, aspects, of course. So which are uh, the um, steps of the projects back to light that we um, propose to uh, our partners and also to uh, Western Caspian University. 
and there are uh, four uh, interconnected uh, uh, steps in which students are deeply involved in, uh, and uh, the first one is the as I told you before, the life beyond tourism for day. So the, the, the first introductory meeting that we are right now uh, living and uh, um, together with the uh, photo exhibition Florence in the World, the World in Florence that I am preparing uh, to deliver to, to you. So you will receive soon uh, by DHL. The second step is attending the e-learning course Life Beyond Tourism, Travel to Dialogue Heritage as a Builder of Peace. And this is a short course that our foundation would like to offer for free to all your students interested in order to uh, approach and uh, to understand uh, at the first sight the Life Beyond Tourism methodology. Then it's a, sorry, uh, uh, we will invite your group to produce a storytelling, a cultural storytelling of a site in Argentaizan, uh, according to uh, our uh, life beyond tourism approach in order to uh, propose a new form of uh, um, travel, let's say tourism enhancement. Uh, and uh, the final step is uh, the participation with uh, your, uh, your work to the International Festival of the Cultural Ex Region Cultural Expressions in Florence in November 2025 and 2026, uh, of course, 2021. So uh, let me focus on. Uh, on See the first aspect is uh, the exhibition that, uh, again, uh, I am uh, uh, ready to send to you, is an exhibition devoted to Florence that we have proposed that uh, the main aim is not to celebrate the beauty of Florence, but is just to offer to all of you and your students a way through which we have interpreted the uh, cultural expressions, the cultural identity of, of, uh, of Florence in order to uh, rise the attention and curiosity of, the, of a, a different kind of travelers that are, are not the, uh, the mass uh, tourism that are uh, well known here uh, in Florence, but in many other uh, places. So there are some, uh, yes, this is a, a short description of, of, of that exhibition that are uh, 16 panels, three photos each, where we give a, a, an interpretation of the architecture, colors, buildings and products of, of Florence. And we adopted the NFC, uh, Near Field Communication Technology. And in fact, every, each panel is endowed of a chip that uh, allowed visitors to access through their uh, smartphone to further contents uh, that uh, uh, present in details uh, some aspects of uh, uh, several aspects of the cultural identity of Florence that uh, normally is not uh, well uh, known, but at the same time are worthy to uh, allow in grasping and understanding the real spirit of, 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 of the places. Here you are some uh, examples of those panels and uh, this is the interface that allowed visitors to uh, get uh, augmented information about uh, the subjects depicted in the in the in those posters some uh, places where that exhibition has been uh, already displayed and uh, hopefully very soon maybe at the beginning of september i guess it will be possible to uh, open the exhibition also in Western Caspian University. 
the life bio tourist bifo day as i told you before we are living right now it's a, a just a, a video conference where we introduce to you and uh, your group of students the life bio tourism initiatives and the uh, the practices of the exhibition florence in the wars and the project back to life that's uh, would like to raise the interest of a group of your students in participating in these initiatives as a, an experience in uh, contributing to the promotion of your local cultural heritage and enhancement of uh, your uh, of a, a form of a sustainable development and intercultural dialogue through heritage and and travel. The second step, as I mentioned before, is the possibility for your student to attend the e-learning course on life beyond tourism. That uh, it's uh, a quite easy uh, format. Uh, it is a, no, a, a not so long course. Of course, we are aware how many duties your students are, exams and so on. So it's a uh, three hours of e-learning course, but they are sufficient to give the first uh, insights uh, to our methodology. And uh, is it divided in three modules? The first with two lessons provides an introduction of the course with a conceptual and terminological study. The second uh, module uh, made up uh, of two lessons deals with the themes of the influence of tourism on a destination site and its risk and opportunities. And finally, uh, the third is a three lesson made and explore the world of life beyond tourism from its beginning to the milestone. During the course, students will be asked to do simple research, browsing the internet, to find for themselves new possible examples and create their own references. The third step that is the most important one is the invite a group of students of your university to produce a cultural storytelling of a region in Azerbaijan. As example, your colleagues from the University of uh, Architecture and Construction are carrying out a story, cultural storytelling on uh, on uh, Shusha. So, uh, but I know that uh, Azerbaijan offers many places that are uh, uh, potentially uh, uh, have the potentialities for attracting. Uh, life beyond tourism style uh, uh, visitors. Coming back, the, we are asking to your group to produce a cultural storytelling by uh, providing information according to a specific uh, 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 guideline that we uh, I have already shared with um, uh, Miss Savinch. Uh, providing a short description of the city, towns, points of cultural interest, itineraries, custom, tradition, local uh, festival, festivity, other aspects of intangible heritage, gastronomic specificity, and also typical uh, 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 cultural productions and, uh, and uh, uh, craftsmanship. So it's uh, a sort of uh, uh, interpretation of the cultural identity and then presentation and then communication of the cultural identity of a specific uh, uh, Azerbaijan site that we are asking your students to produce in order to attract visitors that are uh, uh, interested in, uh, in uh, uh, realizing better and understanding better uh, the, the spirit of the place of, of that region. The last step is the participation of your working team with the cultural storytelling I mentioned before to the Florence Festival, the International Festival 
of the region cultural expression in Florence. That the date is the 25th and 26th of November 2021. And we are asking uh, your students to present uh, a region of Azerbaijan through a, 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 an outlook um, using the same, uh, how can I say, format we adopted for the exhibition in Florence. So panels with post three pictures, uh, each one. And um, of course, uh, and we during the the festival is aimed to gather the uh, output of different universities with their students uh, from different countries, from from different cultural background, and so in order to create a worldwide intersection uh, between. Uh, um, the experience and the commitment of young generations that uh, uh, commit themselves in presenting their identity from their uh, point of, uh, of, uh, of view. In order to prompting a post-pandemic travel for values for the territorial resilience and cohesiveness. They are the main aim of the life beyond tourism uh, philosophy. So this is the link where uh, you can access all the other information, even though I am at your disposal for providing further information, all the uh, other uh, um, aspects that uh, uh, you, you, you need to clarify. Let me remind that uh, the deadline, that the main deadline is the 1st of September for the registration of your university group. And the 30th of September is deadline for presenting uh, your cultural uh, storytelling. Again, let me uh, conclude with, uh, from our point of view, which should be the factors they sh should uh, um, create an added value for uh, your students because uh, taking part on that experience we are convinced that uh, uh, they will uh, uh, develop a sense of cultural belongings and awareness not only, but uh, they uh, will be uh, agent for uh, uh, the promoting an engagement of the local communities in the projects and, uh, uh, and research. And uh, they will uh, have uh, the possibility of contributing to a, a cohesive uh, uh, territorial visibility at international level and the boost the image of uh, your region as attractive for a new model of tourism not only but they will also uh, with their work will provide the potential visitors with the right tools for interpret and understand your cultural identity and then to give a contribution to the income generating capacity of the local cultural expressions so these are the expected uh, achievements that uh, uh, for 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 uh, for your students. Again, uh, let me. Uh, this is the venue of the festival in Florence. Uh, uh, that uh, for these first uh, editions will be in still in hybrid format. I mean that there will be the possibility if you will uh, agree to visit directly Florence and take part in the, in, the, in the festival that it's hosted in Palazzo Medici Riccardi, the first uh, Medici's family palace in, in Florence, the home of Cosimo, the elder, and Lorenzo the Magnificent, 
and the workplace of artists like Donatello, Michelangelo, Benozzo Gozzoli, Botticelli. But it is also, can, the participation can be done also online. So uh, by uh, 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 a presentation delivered uh, via, via, via Zoom, uh, like, uh, like uh, we are doing right now. Let me also conclude by uh, um, a, a shortly uh, showing you one example of uh, a work done by a university in, in Georgia, by a working group of students from the new higher educational um, institute in Tbilisi. So this is the, they are uh, cultural storytelling uh, dedicated to Kvemo Kartli, southward Tbilisi, with the information that they gather following the guidelines that uh, um, are, uh, have been uh, uh, created for that festival. So points of cultural interest, uh, traditional local festival, tourist route, uh, and other aspects. These are the working team, seven students when we two tutors. So this is uh, our, I have concluded the presentation of the initiatives. We are inviting Western Caspian University to participate. Let me also provide you some further information that are over that initiative and that uh, uh, regard with the scientific activity that the foundation was used to carry out before pandemic, of course. And, uh, uh, every year uh, we are uh, uh, organizing uh, a, a, a global forum de dedicated to topics that are uh, focused on heritage enhancement for uh, uh, sustainable uh, tourism, uh, e-cohesive tourism, inclusive tourism, with uh, the publications that uh, are available for uh, uh, university members of our movement like uh, like you are uh, so public scientific uh, and uh, bibliographic activity this is our the, the, the last uh, uh, publications uh, in uh, in 2020 uh, we are also committed in uh, erasmus plus uh, um, projects uh, uh, in particular we are now concluding uh, uninet uh, that is uh, a university network on heritage integrated uh, protection management and use and uh, the purpose is to develop an interdisciplinary teaching model combining the issue of protection management and use of uh, three types of cultural heritage, architectural heritage, archeological heritage, and cultural landscape. The project outputs have courts of integ on integrated protection, management, and use of cultural heritage, handbooks on modern management, sustainable protection, and contemporary use of cultural heritage, knowledge exchange and educational portal on cultural heritage. Partners are from Poland, Italy, uh, Greece, uh, uh, Germany, uh, and of course also uh, the foundation. These are some other uh, uh, short uh, uh, memories of the uh, scientific activity and conference we were organized before a pandemic to, to carry it out and th that we recon. We would like to uh, restart uh, coming from next, uh, next year. So I have concluded uh, my, my, my presentation. Of course, I, and I thank you for, for your attention. Again, let me uh, uh, point out that that meeting uh, since the beginning was uh, uh, conceived for to uh, introduce to all of you and your students uh, the initiative of uh, Back to Life and the festival that we are uh, organizing for 
from uh, for uh, November 2001 and invite you to select a group of, uh, of uh, students that are interested in uh, offering specific uh, uh, um, uh, identity in cultural insights of a region in Azerbaijan in order to promote uh, uh, a different way to present a place and to make it attractive for a specific target of visitors, of tourism, of people who are interested, of course, in uh, traveling for discovering uh, cultural heritage and uh, living an experience that it is not consumerist, but it is also uh, a human experience of knowledge and intercultural dialogue. This is life beyond tourism, what would like uh, to, to pursue. So I have uh, concluded my presentation. And uh, of course, if uh, there are some questions uh, that I can answer right now, I am at your disposal. Or otherwise, uh, we, uh, I will uh, uh, provide uh, my continuous assistance in answering you by email, by Skype, and whatever other means you uh, you you prefer. I thank you for your attention, and uh, again, uh, let me express my appreciation and uh, starting from uh, the acting rector, uh, uh, Madame Zafira Mamadova, who assigned the memorandum of understanding, and uh, all of you that are uh, uh, attended this uh, first introductory meeting uh, with uh, our foundation and life beyond tourism movement. If there are some questions, I am uh, uh, at your uh, full disposal. Okay, Mr. Simon, let me just ask a question uh, to the audience. Does anybody ha has, uh, have any question? Oh, it seems that no, uh, everything is clear okay. and no one has a question. Okay. Oh. Okay, so if uh, allow me uh, just a few minutes before concluding for uh, summarizing uh, which are the next steps. As I wrote you, told you before, I'm now preparing a, a parcel containing the exhibition Florence, on Florence that uh, we have created and again, that uh, would like only to be uh, an example of how we interpret our ide cultural identity in order to attract a specific target of the visitors. And uh, in that parcel, you will receive not only the exhibition, the 16 posters, but also books on uh, life beyond tourism for your a library and uh, for your students. Then uh, you we are free to decide which is the date you would like to open and of course we would be very pleased to attend even in virtual way that, uh, that, uh, that meeting. We are offering also the possibility for the group of students that you would like to select for participating in the project we are offering the possibility to attend for free our e-learning course. In that case, uh, I ask you to give me the list of the students because uh, I have to give you a special access code that allow all of you to uh, access the uh, course for free. The course is in uh, Udemy platform. Last but not least, also, the most important is that uh, the cultural storytelling that uh, will be displayed in the festival in Florence 
must follow some specific guideline that I already share with you, dear Ms. Savic, uh, uh, right? But I can send you again. Uh, and, the dead, the, and that the deadline is uh, the 30th of September. So um, let me invite uh, you to select and start uh, working with your group uh, uh, since now, while uh, the course and the opening of the exhibition can be done at your uh, convenience. Finally, I again renew my full availability for providing you assistance and uh, suggestions and uh, answer to your questions. Uh, let, uh, now, let me express our gratitude and appreciation for you, for your presentation, for your presentation and for your foundation for today's meeting and info day. And thank you for collabor collaboration. Uh, uh, let me just inform that uh, the exhibition we are planning to conduct, uh, organize exhibition during the next month in August. Uh, and we will be glad and our students will be glad to uh, join your e-learning courses. Uh, uh, soon uh, I will send the list of the students who will join uh, the courses. And uh, thank you again uh, for your collaboration. Okay, thank you thank so you. much, Professor. Thank you so much. Thank you, dear Professor Asanova. I would like also to say hello to Mr. Gusal. I don't see him. Uh, and. Uh, and uh, Professor Parvitz, uh, and uh, also uh, Mr. Badalov. I, I don't uh, know if he was uh, here uh, before. Again, uh, this is our first opportunity of collaboration, and uh, consider me at your disposal for any other, uh, for, for a, 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 a 24 hour assistance per day. So if there are no other questions, I can uh, say you again, uh, uh, thank you and uh, keep in touch for, uh, for uh, the coming steps of, uh, of our collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank thank you, you again. Too. Thank you and all the best and see you, see you soon. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Take care. You too, thank you.